American Trade Masters right behind me here. Um, I wanted to show you this layout real quick. Um, this is kind of a complicated layout even though it's just an L shape here. We're going to do an angle sink. I'm going to show you tricks of the trades how to do that. So there's, there's our space at our cabinets. Here's our plans. These are pretty typical from um, the home center. They're modular cabinets, three inch increments is what they usually come in. So I'm going to show you how to determine all these points um, to measure from to get your fillers and your cabinet measurements right. Um, you should really do these layouts before you um, buy your cabinets so that you make sure um, that all the cabinets are correct. Uh, let me just show you over here. This is a floor plan of the same. Now I already predetermined these, um, I call these spaces available and I'm going to show you how we do that. So anyway, um, coming back over here, what I do is I, I come out and measure the wall from, from the back to the front and um, the, the 24 inches and then I snap lines on the floor. You can also use um, chalk lines if you want. After I after I um, draw out my my lines for my bases, and one thing you have to keep in mind is if your walls are out of level. So if your walls are out of level, it's going to change that line. So make sure you can factor that in. So once you get these lines out, so you got you're going to come all the way into the corner and make a 90 degree on those corners right there, and then. So now what you're going to do is you're going to plumb down the window and then use a square and that'll give you a point to the edge of the window because we don't want to come past the edge of the window with our cabinets on that side. The same thing over here on our doorway. We're going to do the same thing. So, so once you get that line established, um, that, that establishes the end of your runs. So now comes the complicated part. <laughs> So basically I just, even though this, this cabinet's going to be at an angle right here as you see it's drawn out, I will go ahead and put my lines all the way to the center. That way what I can do is I can use this right angle calculation to see, a, see how square my corner is going to be. And if you have three feet on one side, four feet on the other, and five feet there, this will be 90 degrees. And so once I get that established, and I did check that and it looks good, I, the way I do this is with a story stick. I'm sure there's some geometry, but I'm not smart enough for that. So maybe somebody can help me out with that. But anyway, what I do is I calculate the size of the sink cabinet, which that's a 33 inch sink cabinet. And we need to have filler spaces in beside each one so that the drawers function and this is also a farm sink. So what I calculated here is a sink base 33 and an inch and a half filler. This is called a story stick. So uh, that's the exact size of my cabinet, just a regular cabinet that's going to make an angle sink. So once I get that done, I'll just take a couple tape measures. I'll put one on this side, I'll put one on this side, and that's my 90 degree right and then so then I'll just move my story stick into place until I have equal distance on each side and it came out to about 25 and a half now I know my my square cabinet that I'm going to install right here is going to be at a perfect angle and everything will be correct so that's the way I do that and then once that's established, now I have point-to-point -point measurements. So I have my point right here from this point all the way to the end of my wall is my space available, which happened to be 61 and a quarter. And then I did the same thing over here on this side. My point there all the way over to the edge of the window, and that happened to be 108 and a half. So that's how I calculate my space available to determine the size of my cabinets and to determine the size of my fillers. So I have about an inch and a half filler on each side for this. 
and then um, I think that's it for that so those are the tricks of the trade on how to install an angle corner sink.